Use, our studios. Just so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the studio shower when we're done because I mm-hmm. cannot stand the smell of myself from yeah. being on the bus. Uh, what a lot of people don't know about the Coward Hour Studios is that um, it's a very small recording booth and a very large shower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we've actually annexed we've annexed the uh, the spa at the H O at the Burbank H O A the mm-hmm. little Cabrini Villas. Yeah, Which, yeah. Do you mind if we? We're in the we, steam room right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we replaced, see, um, th- there's the men's steam room is still there, but the women's steam room, uh, we have taken over, and no women are allowed in there, because steam is only for the boys. Yeah. There's actually a nude Armenian man right next to me right. at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is nude. <laughs> yeah. We got Isaac Hirsch. In yes. The studio back from exile. Hilarious comedian here to, Isaac Hirsch. Hello. Here to hello. settle the score. Oh, I forgot that Isaac Hirsch used to live in the I used in to the, live in the uh, Coward Hour studio. <laughs> Isaac Hirsch uh-huh. used to live in the Hard Times studios. <laughs> <laughs> I well, used so to did use you. this very st- <laughs> I did. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> it's it's going to be very funny when Brendan gets kicked out of this house and we come back to record in someone else's room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we were saying, I was saying to Brendan, because uh, when I went to record Robbie's podcast in New York, we recorded that like in an actual studio where there was just an angry sound woman like giving. I had my back to her, so like the whole time Robbie was just like looking past me at this angry woman. And when he got the file back, <laughs> who did not respect the president, did not respect the president. No, yeah, because when he got the file back, it was just called uh, group chat slash Trump dot <laughs> 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 Um and I was like, and I was like, you know, podcasts do not they you can't podcasts aren't supposed to be recorded in studios. They're supposed to be recorded in Brendan's bedroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so one day when we build our own coward, we're just gonna rebuild Brendan's bedroom, but like twice, like to scale twice. <laughs> so just like a giant bed, giant TV, big chairs. Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. And then I can be in there and feel even more small and thus double as powerful. Yeah. Yeah, like those people at the museum with the giant chair and table that they take yes. photos next to. Is that what that is? I've been seeing that on Tinder and I've just been feeling mocked. What know. museum is it at? I don't know. It's like an art exhibit or something, I assume. I don't know. It's fucking retarded shit for people to take photos <laughs> next to is what it is. <laughs> it doesn't serve any other purpose. It, yeah, it, it, that's what everything is now. National parks and such. I think people need to get off. Yeah. People need to stop taking photographs. L.A. has the Museum of Selfies, which I think actually should just be a razor, like a razor shredder that people just walk <laughs> face first. <laughs> yeah. <to go. laughs> Wait, where's the Museum of Selfies? I have no idea, but you see, like... Uh, uh, there is like just various things you can take photos in front of that look cool for like Tinder or Instagram. Well, I know that there is a there's an ice cream place, the Museum of Ice Cream that has a scr- sprinkle pit that people also take photos in. Is it, well, no, because I heard that there's literally I met, that might be it, but there's another ice cream place. I think it's near where we used to live in South Central, where people go there literally just to get a picture of the ice cream, and then a lot of times they just fucking throw the ice cream away. They like get the picture of this like desired treat and then <laughs> fucking toss it because they're not eating ice cream. <laughs> ah, this Someone, is a, which is insane. Ice cream. I need treats. Yeah, dude. You wouldn't do that. You would never just take a picture of food. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I am rapidly gaining weight. Are you gaining? What are you, what are you at right now? So I think I'm at like 165 right now. Oh, my God. Wow. Which is, uh, you know, it's the same as when I quit drinking. I don't think I'm that fat because that was all fat, no muscle. I think I have more muscle now. What do you mean bit. you don't think that you're that fat? I think that when I weighed 165 before... I think there was less muscle and more fat. I mean, I trust you me, have, I have, looked fatter in photos. You sound like such an alcoholic. This is so right funny, now. dude. You have like you, you're the only person who has body dysmorphia in the opposite way, where you're just like, yeah, I look great. <laughs> it's, like, it's muscle. It's all my, yeah, it's fat it's muscle. I'm not saying hey, that I look season. good now. I'm saying that when I was 165 before four years ago, I looked different and worse. Right. So what I'm saying is that you know. I'll get to 190. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to look bad. That but sucks. right now, I don't look how I did when I was drinking. That's well, not to say that some, I look I want to see some pictures of that. I also feel like you were wearing more layers back then. That probably Yeah, you, you were like a suit guy. Suit and cowboy boots. Well, suit and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, so, such a retard. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I'm looking at... Brandon, I'm looking at you right now. Mm-hmm. And yes, you do... Dressed up, you have... Your arms give off the illusion of muscle. And I'm sure there's some... I know that you're doing your curls that right there what's going on down there i don't know but it's you very think, hard 
Brent. It's not. That's a that's a <laughs> that's punch, not my man. Good. <laughs> I know, but like, <laughs> no. I mean, I'm I'm a fat guy. Okay. Yeah. You're I know I'm a fat guy. What Leave does it me mean alone. when your fat starts to harden? Your 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 paunch is calcifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one gigantic kidney oh, stone. It's and all bone. <laughs> and you go to the doctor, your doctor's like, oh yeah, you have colon cancer, and these are tumors. You just have like a <laughs> ring of tumors around and your waist. It's just like, I'm not fat, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm not that fat. I've been fatter. I will be fatter. But right now, I am not at my I have not crested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a long ways yeah, to man. go up before we start going down. I can't wait to see that wave crash. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait to see you. It's going to be like your... a roller coaster, you know? Yeah. Because now like, we're slowly inching up. You slow. know how roller coasters just stop at the top? <laughs> yeah, and then... And then <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... um, And then, then it goes down. No, right. Not this one. Well, what, no. yeah, yeah, wait, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you're saying you're just going to lose it? <laughs> some loops in there. What do you think, what do you think is going to be your descent? What's going to get you on track to descend to a normal body? Um, it's going to be like season six of The Sopranos. Someone shoots me and then I'm in the hospital and. Oh, so you're just unable to eat? Like you're just, you're getting all your nutrients through a tube? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, you know, I'm going to be doing dreams. <laughs> I'm going <gonna> be, <laughs> to be in there chilling with monks. Your doctor's going to be like, this coma is the best thing that's ever happened to Brendan. He can't make he looks decisions. Great. He can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's not getting, he's not cooking up any schemes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, my parents are going to get a call and they're going to be like, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Crick. Uh, Brendan is fine. He's in a medically induced coma. My mom's going to be like, what happened? He's like, happened. <laughs> yeah. Mr. No, and Mrs. Crick, no, we he, have good news. This, yeah. is a, <laughs> this is a preventative medical yeah, yeah. <laughs> induced coma. Oh, my God. Did he hit his head? Did he fall? It's like, no, he just continued on the track that he was on. This mm-hmm. was, your, your this son was met his destiny. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, instead I can't. of cryogenically freezing, like like instead of a rich person freezing himself until they can cure his disease, it's me just going to bed until just my brain gets yeah. stronger. <laughs> <laughs> like we're gonna we're gonna wake him up in ten years and and we're gonna ask him about his core sets of beliefs. Oh, and if, be... if he gives us the same answers, he's going right. He's back going right in. back in the coma. What, yeah, very funny to like put like take someone out of a coma ten years later. Like, what did you learn? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna stop? <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't now, throw around aspersions because I'm in the worst shape of my life. I know. Right wh- now. What do you weigh? You're again. This is like the polar opposite. I think I weigh like maybe one twenty five. Uh, That's not but bad. It's it's just For my. You, I mean, what? Weren't you like one oh nine at one point? No, I've never been that low. No, I, that I got be... down to like one fourteen was the lowest I've been in my adult life. Uh, but. I mean, I was in better shape then. Now, like, my extremities keep going numb for oh no reason. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Isaac, you got to eat feel, I, It's like, Isaac is like, you know, you ever played Metroid? You know when the health bar gets down to the red and you just always hear a beeping every three minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Isaac just in his head, he hears, like, the health alert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going. It's okay. I'm going to see a You're chiropractor just constantly on run- Tuesday. <laughs> They're going to fix everything. You're constantly running around for a health pack. <laughs> Yeah, I just have to eat just a giant piece of raw pork off the ground, and I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, you have, you've been treating your health like Halo health, where you're like, well, if I just crouch and be still, it'll regenerate. I'll be, <laughs> I just have to maintain a neutral state. Yeah. That's exactly well, I mean, right. Isaac, I've seen you eat before. And you appear to get bored before it's done. <laughs> it is, it is. He forgets what he's doing. <laughs> this is true. My my parents had to like uh, tell me. They sat me down at the dinner table. They're just like, "Listen, you have to stop singing while you eat because apparently <laughs> I was just unconsciously, tunelessly humming every time I ate." <laughs> my fucking no, 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 no. My uncle does that. My uncle Gary does that. We call him Mumbles because every time every time he has breakfast, he hums a song that no one has ever heard before. <laughs> well, I, 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 my my dad would uh, he would do two sides of an argument with himself. No. <laughs> You told me that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you would sing while you ate? I would be singing, like, I would be humming a song I knew, but I wouldn't realize I was doing it, and I'd also be doing a bad job because I wasn't really focused on doing I'd be eating, but eating bored me so much, I'd also <laughs> just have my mind on, like, a song or something. <laughs> So I just sit there, uh, basically the entire time. Dude, it's so weird to be bored by eating, the, th- the main thing that your body wants. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's what my body wants. Yeah, what do you think your hierarchy of need? Like, if most people are looking for food, sex, and shelter, I think the problem is that my my my, my pyramid is empty, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is no, no needs. There's, I have no needs. I'm in a very you know. I think it's a Zen state, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no earthly desires. I'm you know the fucking what? Buddha, yeah. dude. Actually, you are. It's <laughs> very different. No, it's very different from when we moved here. I have watched Isaac because, like, his well, for third a while, eye is totally open. No, because yeah, like, um, what's the final need? Like validation. Yeah. You don't even want that anymore. That used to I be don't. your only well, need. Well, no, that's not, you're validated from different things now. I think you're probably finding validation from your good relationship and you know enjoying your job. Um, I guess, yeah, but I, I, it's true. I, I rely on validation less because, like, the whole reason I did stand up was just like I just wanted that fucking mass feeling of validation yeah. you get from an audience being like, "We like you," and now that doesn't have the same effect on me anymore. And either I've become numb to it, or I just don't need validation anymore. Dude, not needing validation is like once once you're no longer hungry for being validated by whatever it is you're pursuing. That's when stuff starts to happen. I mean, not always. Sometimes people <laughs> like yearn for validation and they get it and that, and they kind of turn into psychopaths but look man mm-hmm. satisfaction is the death of desire like <laughs> well that's my hope is like you know like like when you're looking for like a girlfriend or like someone to get laid it never happens but then when you give up sometimes the police come and they take you to jail well wait a minute <laughs> that's what I, that's what i'm hoping happens to me you keep you do want scenarios where you just don't have to worry about anything yeah Comas, i want jail i want structure you do want structure. I mean, in many ways, the two men sitting here are not so different from one another. We we are both autistic. <laughs> so, <laughs> both, both so autistic. You I'm, I'm so autistic. I figured a way to always be happy, and he's so autistic. He's figured out a way to be, always be unhappy. And I think that's- what I have is uh, I think I have the girl kind of autism, where uh, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Someone told me this once. Where like like autistic men don't really have feelings, don't really have empathy. Autistic women have way too many feelings, way too much empathy. <laughs> and, well, actually, that doesn't pan out. I don't have very much empathy. But yeah, I do have I a lot of feelings. Of I, didn't that, I didn't know that didn't know that you knew that you didn't. You, what, you have no empathy I didn't know that you insane. didn't. I thought that you considered you, because behind my back, I'm like, yeah, I don't think that. Behind your back, I'm sorry. Not behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> out of my face to people in front of me. I've been like, yeah, Crick's not that empathetic. He has very low empathy. But I didn't know, you know that you I, knew. It, it takes me a second. I can pick up on it. But, uh, <laughs> I don't always know what to do with the info. <laughs> <laughs> it is you are autistic. I, I don't think. know. I don't think I'm autistic. I don't know. What, I think um, autism I, is such an easy out for him. I don't think he's yeah, autistic. And no, so I think this shoe, let me tell you. Something. I think high this anxiety so throws off yes. me, like my ability to navigate social situations. You're right. You're yeah. right. It's funny to hear you say that. I know. I'm sorry. I know. Mm-hmm. This is so, it's so pleasing to watch my. Hold on. <laughs> what what my... have I been doing that everyone's like, oh, no empathy, Brendan? Must be cutting up cats. Do you really want me woods. to answer that question? <laughs> you kicked me out of my home, Brendan. <laughs> and you, 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 you tried to play both sides, too. You're like, listen, I don't really want this to happen. I'm just not going to do anything about it at all. <laughs> I, this Look, is I the did, best this could have gone. I didn't want it to happen, but you're right. I did nothing to stop <laughs> it. <laughs> you were playing both sides because you. You also, listen, I think that you get caught up, you, you're susceptible to, uh, what is it, uh, uh, the, the, fl- the crowds, what is that, what is there a word thing? for that? Group yeah, thing? you're Waste very susceptible to group thing. More than anything, you want to be, you, you want, you want to feel accepted into the status quo, because you, I think your greatest fear is that you're doing something to stick out. Which you are constantly, <laughs> <laughs> just despite literally flying under everybody's like being as short and as quiet as you are. It's crazy that people are still like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Like, hmm. but anyway, no, because you because at times you'd be like, "Yeah, I don't want Isaac to go," and then other times when the whole house was with it, you'd be like, "Yeah, well, you know, I guess he's gonna have to go." <laughs> <You're just laughs> like, he should have cleaned his room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it was purely a financial decision on my part, where it was either Isaac moves out or two people move out who are paying more rent than the him. The cold, empathetic. <laughs> like, listen, listen to this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not the, not the cold, the warm, empathetic Brendan. <laughs> Look, the Look num- I ran the numbers, Isaac. You had to go. Look, I, uh, I weighed two bags of coins in each hand. <laughs> I came to my decision. Uh, yeah, you're right. I am going to be out of this house one day, and it's going to be one of those deals where it's like, first I, they came for the bankers. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely next. And I, I, yeah. <laughs> well, I just, that's why I was so shocked when I found out that you were pissing in this room. Using, not using the toilet and then, but, ha- but having the audacity to point your finger at eyes and be like, he lives like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does it smell in here? No, but don't, Brendan, use the toilet. <laughs> Look, I use the toilet not, almost all of the time. That's so bad. That's I, ne- so, I never once not used the toilet. <laughs> say what you will about Isaac. 
But he's he I have, uses the damn toilet. Look, I have I have expert aim in all areas of my life. Stop. On the gun <laughs> range. Do not. Uh, pissing into a, a bottle. <laughs> I am the American sniper of pissing into Gatorade bottles. <laughs> Old Eagle Eye Crick. No, not not Gatorade, because Gatorade, you know, that's fucking easy. That's like right. the fifteen yard line. I'm talking fucking fifteen yard line of what football? Are you? Oh, he's you know, uh, what he's talking, talking about, about guns. Oh, okay. You're filling up aquapods and not spilling a drop. Yeah, I'm pissing in a mio. <laughs> <laughs> Marksman. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because my I guess what I'm just I guess I'm basically roundabout bragging about having a small dick. <laughs> yeah, it's just like my oh dick yeah, that is true. Can fit inside. Or maybe I have a huge dick and just a pinprick urethra. I mean, that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be pretty cool if, like, your urethra was so refined that you could, like, bore holes through wood. Yeah. <laughs> it come, when I come, it just blasts out the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> your, your cum comes out just like a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's the health of your cum lately? Um, it's so funny because people have been listening to the podcast, <clears throat> and, like, uh, some people have been deep diving and, like, damning me on Tinder, and just, like, somebody sent me a clip of us talking about our cum, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like a Tinder girl? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is on uh-huh. Instagram. But but basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um and she was like, Does your co-host still have that slug cum? Do you I remember? Even, I don't even remember having slug cum. No, I think you said that it cut like you were talking about coming and like you you orgasm, but then the cum like it's like your cum is on like a time delay. Mm-hmm. And then your cum just like, Oh, it like slowly seeps it, out. It like slowly seeps out almost in like a semi hard like Little larva. It's like your cum's like all pre cum. <laughs> no, no, it's not all. No, no, no. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Your oh, cum is all. I don't think I was drinking cum. enough water. I, it's pretty normal now. Okay, good. You, yeah. So you have been drinking water. Yeah, I'm drinking water right now. Oh my God! Look. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Brennan <laughs> is ruining the planet by using a plastic bottle. <laughs> you son of a. B- no, I'm glad you're drinking water. I asked for a straw today. Also. <laughs> I, I'll People take get it. fucking pissed when you ask for straws. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's so fucking like to it's put, such a mi- it is a minor thing to I put it on it. people. It's and like no, this is something I really get fired up about. It's like you're gonna be mad at me for using fucking straws. Aren't we? St- aren't corporations still just dumping sludge wherever they want? Yeah, no, it's true. Mm-hmm. And when Trump gets in office in Again? 2020, he's gonna change it. Yeah, great. We're all gonna have straws. I'm sure, he tweeted something with the thing about making all cars like three thousand dollars more afford. Did you see that fucking tweet? No, it was it, it was weird. It was weird. I don't even understand what the the goal was. It was just like the car, the car companies are too stupid to make their cars cheaper. It's like I is are they? They were like he he was like they should make their cars cheaper and also like I think more energy efficient. And I was like and I was reading like you're trying to decipher it because it's also it seems contradictory. And I was just like is is this Socialism? Is he? Yeah. Is, is, is Trump Donald Trump doing a, a socialist? Socialist president? <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump woke Bay. <laughs> I mean, that would be the greatest face turn of all time. It would be very. That funny. he'd be like the that rock. That would be hilarious. Hello, my my pronouns are he him. <laughs> <laughs> no, what if Trump came out as a they them? <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be so. Have you seen Baron? By the way, no. Have you seen? Did you see the picture? Recent picture of Baron, Trump, Melania walking. Baron is easily three inches, like, over both of them. So he's, like, six? Because Trump's tall, right? B- Baron's got to be, like, six five or some shit. Mm. Damn. I bet he never stops growing. I hope that, I hope that like, in two years, Baron is just, like, eight foot, like, eight foot six, and science is just like, what do we do? <laughs> like, they're just running yeah. numbers. I'm like, at this rate, he's going to be unstoppable. Yeah, Baron is 20 feet tall, and he just announces, I'm the president now. <laughs> Baron just looks like I, fucking Lurch. Yeah. Young, blonde Lurch. I'm the largest man, and I am the president. Yeah, it would be so funny if you, if you kept, because right now, he's very handsome. He's a very handsome, autistic guy. Mm-hmm. Which is a dangerous combo, but it would be so funny <laughs> if, if you kept growing so much that you like grew out of being handsome. You like grew into Marfans. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what that is. Yeah, just one day he wakes up and looks like Vincent Chiavelli or something. <laughs> 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 Man, uh, that would be sick. I I do I do. To be clear, I'm not mad about being kicked out. I've been so much happier since leaving this house. Uh, you have. I've mm-hmm. I've watched it happen. It ter- no one in this house communicates in a normal way. It's very weird. Everything is either passive aggressive sniping or direct confrontation, and there's no like third gear. <laughs> well, it's well, it's there's a lead up to it because there will be there will be passive aggressive sniping, and then the confrontation is as though uh, they've been conf- as the, it's, it's as though there's been direct uh, communication like 
prior to that confrontation. Sure, yeah. But you just have you've been ignoring it when in reality it's like everything's coded and weird, and you just get like you just get pictures of like a floor, and you're like, is it dirty? I don't know. If that, like, <laughs> is this? Uh, did I do a good job, or are they mad at me? <laughs> right before I got kicked out, I got a picture of a cup in a trash can, and I was just like, that's where the cup's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That does happen a lot. <laughs> yeah, so you, debate, you people are sending they're sending you like uh, like kachbas or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> Isaac, prove that you're not a robot. <laughs> Which like, of these frames contains a bus? <laughs> yeah, you're like the cup doesn't go in a trash can. They're like, all right, you get to stay for another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your password for your room. <laughs> that would be funny if, like, the house had a, like a, a Red Dead honor system where it's like you put away a cup, five points. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is that by the time I got kicked out, I felt like I was on the good side of the honor system. Like I was doing everything correctly except for my room. Yeah, uh, which I thought would at least be outweighed by me, like cl- keeping everything else clean. But uh, it was not. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> A lot of politics. I don't right? know how to talk about this on mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Isaac's being pretty open about it. I mean, I guess, but the other thing is, the other parties all listen to this podcast. Yeah, they so. do. And, and they're not going to get mad at Isaac. They're going to get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cycle of abuse continues. See, I'm also scot-free because I... We're I'm both just, out. We're free. Dude, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm a free agent. I'm you, like... You know how many passive-aggressive texts I've gotten since living in my new house? Zero. None. There are six other people who Isaac, live there. Isaac, you to, need to, to clean fair. your entranceway. <laughs> 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 to be fair, you, your new house is like the other side of the spectrum, but yeah. that may be... Well, you're the clean roommate there, right? I'm, I'm among the cleanest roommates there. Do you, do you want to tell us about this uh, this living situation? Yeah, so I live with six people. I live in the entryway of the house, and that sounds bad, but it's actually a pretty large room, all mm-hmm. things considered. Uh, there is no AC. It's very hot. Um, <laughs> a man lives in our kitchen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we have ants. We have several different colony of ants that live in our I, house. I just realized Wait, you have it, different species of ants. Yeah, they're like the little ants and the the slightly larger ants. You are, you're, you're living <laughs> you're living in like a comedian foxhole. That's basically what it is. Every time I've been over there, it's like a combat zone. Yeah, and they're my brothers in arms, and we all get along very well because of that. The power of, like, it's so funny because two of my roommates, like, have high-paying TV writer jobs at this point, and, like, no one knows why they still live. They could easily afford to live somewhere much better. Yeah. And it's just, like, the power of friendship is just keeping everyone in this, like, hellish home. I mean, that's great. It's great. That's what you yeah. want. Boy's house is nice. Boy's I'm, house is nice. I, the, I, like, I have no intention of moving out of the fucking room that I live in. Well, your room seems fine. It is. The bed is broken, and I haven't fixed it, but... I gotta fix it. I really gotta fix it soon because <laughs> I keep having to like I keep having to come up with excuses as to why uh, me and girls can't fuck at my house or why we're fucking on my roommate's bed <laughs> while they're away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna fix that bed. Nice, nice. That's a good promise to make. To I have to stop fucking on my roommate's bed. Yeah, probably. I have I have a standing offer to fuck in my roommate's room whenever I want to, and me and my girlfriend just absolutely cannot pull the trigger. Is why is that? Even when he's away, it's it's just weird. Like, also, I'm too lazy. I don't want to have to, like, bring sheets to his bed and put them on his bed and then change the sheets afterwards. It seems like a lot of work. Your girlfriend yeah. is a nice place, right? It's fine. It's okay. pretty messy, uh, but it's it's okay. At least she has her own room. It's not a living room. Mm-hmm. It's not a living room. How, and what what's the ant situation there? At her place, it's, it, there are no ants. She lives on the second story, which is uh, really where you want to live. No ants. No ants. I Look, I want to. I want to be clear. I have no. I was not the cause of these ants at all. <laughs> these ants were there long before I moved in, and they'll be there long after I move out. Dude, we had ants in the house because uh, I put Rita's bowl down, and it's weird. The ants will show up, and then it's like I genocide them really quick, which does make me feel bad. But then they don't come back for like a couple months. But I had a scary moment the other morning because there was a trail of ants, like like a big trail going from like the um the fridge into the kitchen where Rita's bowl was, but Rita was eating. And I was like, Rita? And Rita turned and looked at me, and she had ants, like, on her face. <laughs> like a fucking horror movie. And I was like, oh, my God. And I like, picked her up, <laughs> brushed her face off. I killed all the ants. <laughs> <laughs> Rita made peace with the ants. <laughs> Rita, she, like, I was like, that's amazing. I was like, you're really getting old, I guess. <laughs> Rita is my cat, by the way. I should uh-huh. clarify. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool if you had like a, like a living girlfriend. I just who ate had from a, a bowl. Yeah, I had a kept woman. Like the <laughs> like, I just made her drink milk from a bowl, like the girl in Pootie Tang. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very good. Here, hold on. I'm gonna put the soundboard on this trash can. Oh, that's great. Do we used to do that? No, we um <laughs> we put it up there, but there's normally. Oh, I love the amenities at the Hard Times Podcast Studio. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. There we go. Did we uh, lose something? Is it still there? Nope. We're, My audio we're went out for a second. Right, um, nice. Anyway, yeah, ants. A lot of ants. Uh, they. The problem is that, like, you can't get rid of ants. We had ants in this home very briefly, and we got ant traps, and they all died. And I brought, I bought several different brands of ant traps. The problem is that this ant problem got way out of hand long before I moved in. Right. And they're just, it's such like an insanely large colony of ants that you cannot kill you them. You can't discourage those ants. You can just like hold, you can this beat like them a, back for a, a second. So this is like a, like thousands and thousands of ants oh, living in sure. the house. Oh, for sure. Yeah. No, I mean, I think, I, my guess is they're based outside of the house and they're like, <laughs> Well, they're, yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> they're based outside of the house and they just have like giant teams that come into the house uh, like they have a, a bathroom team. That would be then, insane if the if the if the ants were so many generations deep that they were coming from inside the house. The <laughs> ants are for sure based outside of the house. Oh yeah. Well, we have a fucking tan- like a fucking grapefruit tree right in front of our house, and that's like where they're based. I've I seen think. it. Yeah, that makes none sense. of that fruit is good. Oh, it's it's you can't eat it. It's so bad. It's it's like <laughs> un- it's inedible. The best part is that we had there are like a lot of crazy drug addicts in our neighborhood, and this like fucking lady who was kind of strung out, just like we're all sitting talking outside, and then she just walks up into our driveway and like talks to us for a second, and she's like, "Can I have some of the fruit?" And we're like. Yeah, go nuts. And this is not like an old, it was like a younger Latina lady. And she like takes one of the grapefruits off the tree and just bites into it without oh. peeling it and walks away <laughs> eating it like that way. I mean, she was hungry. Uh, it you was, did a good deed. It was insane. <laughs> also, Andy Dick keeps walking by our house. That's what's really scary is having Andy Dick him near like your home. Up. Well, have you like, offered him boys in there? What? Have you offered him fruit? <laughs> no, no. We, uh, we, we were actually shit talking it because like. We were talking about Andy Dick one time, just like, yeah, Andy Dick keeps walking by this house. It's fucking scary. And then, like, we see that. I'm like, oh, is that him? And he just, like, walked by and goes, I heard all of that. And like, <laughs> really? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. What is Andy Dick doing in your neighborhood? Buying drugs, for Do sure. So? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It sucks when you're, like, Andy Dick has fallen off so hard that his drug dealers won't even come to him. <laughs> he definitely has, like, a. where is he fucking living? Well, that's the thing is that apparently he might also be living with a friend in our neighborhood. Because oh normally God. he lives in his, wi- his ex-wife's guest house. Uh... She didn't kick him out, but then she went on a vacation recently and apparently just, like, didn't leave a key for him. So he had just had to live with a friend for, like, a month. <laughs> Have you seen those? He did those streams. I don't know if the streams still up at Cliffs from the Art where he was just, like, doing coke, like, on Twitch while his one of his sons is just, like, asleep in the background. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus he goes, like, while his son is asleep, he said something. He's like, I fucking abuse him. I don't give him food when he asks for it. <laughs> 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 he's like, I'm a bad father. <laughs> So weird. <laughs> we gotta get him on the cast. <laughs> yeah, he probably fucking. That'd be a, that'd be a good. G- well, I mean, he's gonna like fucking rub your shoulders the whole time, but yeah, no way. I'd well, you guys could get dick. him on. You, you could get him on Mean Boys, right? You just lead him into the. They house. don't want to. I mean, like he fucking. There's a story where he like abused one of my roommates. Like at they went, they were at like the roast battle taping or something, and he was there, and they spent like a wild night with him, where he like kept touching Connor's dick or something. Jesus, yeah, he's like, he is like a <laughs> rapist. He's, yeah, he's he's a, a horrible person. He's, he's a terrible, <laughs> terrible guy. What is he was on SNL. Was he on SNL? He was on news radio. I feel like nobody really remembers why Andy Why Dick is, is Andy famous. Dick famous? He was in yeah, the MTV I, Movie Awards. To me, I've always known him as the famous, like, rapist. Yeah. <laughs> he's been a creep so long, no one remembers, like, what he's famous for beyond being a creep. Yeah, what the yeah, fuck? What does he do? Is he a comedian? Because tr- now I'm even trying to think, was Andy Dick in movies? Not that I can think of off the top <laughs> of my head. He he's, was... he's just been a bother. Andy Dick just so somehow long. kept ending up in front of cameras. But I feel like like on the news. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that that's kind of a sweet gig if you become famous and then like you just slowly become famous for being a wreck until no one remembers what it was like, that made you famous. Yeah, you're not famous enough that getting me to cancels you. It's actually what perpetuates your fame, and also everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, like of course that guy is canceled. Yeah. So you just like you just stay exactly where you were. Yeah, he's just in a, a state of perpetual canceled him, but it's like a funny kind of being canceled. Yeah, v- insane. It is insane. He's the most free man on earth. It, Quite it, possibly. It's crazy to be a, a to be a prolific, like a documentedly prolific rapist, and the general consensus is still like, yeah, the funny rapist. Like, the, <laughs> like the, he, is, he is funny. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, the, like the guy who when he rapes you, you're like, all right, come on. <laughs> come on, <laughs> like, cut that out. Stop yeah, that, Andy. Yeah, Jesus, Andy. <laughs> Put it in, how old is Andy Dick? Who, Brendan, who knows? <laughs> I'm imagining we find some old like clip of him doing like black and white Carson. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just Dickens. polished, fucking honed material. I'm gonna look. I want to fucking look this up. I want to see how old Andy Dick is because I'm. I would. I would, I would I'm gonna guess that Andy Dick is mid- 49. No, I'm guessing mid 60s. No way, he's not <clears throat> that old. I'm guessing fucking mid 60s. Oh, hang on. How, 
I, I'm looking up his and his uh, IMDb while you do that. He's 53. Okay. 53? All okay. right. So you were close. How does he have all these kids if he's a famously gay man? He's bisexual, I think. Oh, okay. He just fucks anything. He will. Yeah. He literally. Uh, he's. I mean, he's terminally horny. He probably has one of those things where, like, there's like a piece of his skull or like a tumor. <laughs> yeah, there's like, like a tumor pressing on his brain. Pressing that's just, on part like, of his brain. Creep. <laughs> 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 Touch that man. <laughs> Damn. How is his IMDb page that long? It's extremely long, and there's like eight things that haven't even come out yet. Damn, Andy Dick is working. Like, um, here's, let's like, see, his first credit was in 1980, 1986? <laughs> Wait, wouldn't he have been like 10? <laughs> <laughs> he was in, oh yeah, no, I guess 19, he was in Permanent Midnight. No, I mean like, so, so he's been 1986, that was, so yeah. So, like, 30 years, he's been in 100 things. Jeez. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, he's, what a, like, what legit a career. prolific, yeah. I guess. Damn. Wow. And he just strides by your house. There was he a Get Smart TV series in the 90s. Oof. There were a lot of forgotten uh, 90s reboots of shit. What was, the, what was the other one I was just thinking about? They didn't remake The Monsters, did they? There was, a, there was like... <laughs> that, oh, that sounds plausible. <clears throat> Mr. Ed. Remember, they when, they, remember when they remade Ed? Mr. Ed? Holy shit. I do not remember that at all. Yeah. There I don't was... remember it. I just remember a kid telling me about it. Okay, he was on he the Ben Stiller VHS. show. I think that was his first like big comedy Oh, thing. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hmm. That's wild. Man, we got to get on the Ben Stiller show. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the goal. <laughs> I want to become the host of the rebooted Ben Stiller show. I mean, I think you can do it. What's your plan, though? What's your plan of attack? Um... It's called the Ben Stiller Show. Mm-hmm. Uh, no I, Ben Stiller. He's I host not in it. it. Yeah, <laughs> we we. It's just sort of a spiritual sequel. Oh, so it's just <laughs> like a legacy show. Like the like you like you like. It's like when they reboot In Loving Color with none of the same people, right, except right, right, it's right. just the Ben Stiller. Show. You're like, look, it's a sketch show. We have to maintain the brand, otherwise, people. It's like the new Mad TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's gonna be like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brennan's show would be called Sad TV. Okay, here we <laughs> okay. go. Here we go. Finally, we're this is what I was waiting for. Uh, Loser, All right, sorry. <laughs> 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 Sad TV. Um, I've been rewatching fucking Mad TV. Is it good? It's good. Is it? Really? I don't know why I thought it was bad. It's so funny. It's leg- It's much better than SNL. Mm. They don't know how to end sketches, but the premise is like they did it. There was a sketch where uh, f- um, Michael McDonald's. He's a giant who works at Burger King. <laughs> It's so funny. I don't even want to fuck. Just look up Michael McDonald giant fast food. So funny. It's a good premise. That's, that's, a, that's an premise. interesting premise. The I man is too big, and he's working a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn, I want to write a pilot just based on that. Now, the man is too big. <laughs> that's what it'll be called. The man who is too big, and he wakes up every day furious that he's so so big. Yeah, could be sick. I, yeah. would, I would be so mad if I woke up big tomorrow. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> That's all that you dream about. No, no, I've uh, I've reframed it now. I'm doing body positivity. How big are you thinking, though? Like what? What? Because I feel like Brendan, you could wake up nine feet and like th- that would be everything for you. You would get attention. You'd probably have a career. Women would be into that. You wouldn't be mad. I don't think women nine want to fuck a is nine too foot tall guy. Tall. <laughs> they definitely do, dude. It's a primal response. No, I think above like. Seven feet, it starts to. Well, no, I fall think. Off. Uh, I mean, like, Mat- you know, the Who Wants to Sex Matumbo story? That guy was seven feet tall. Uh, Dikembe Matumbo was an NBA player who uh-huh. walked into a bar in Georgetown famously and just walked in and bellowed, Who wants to sex Matumbo? And he had takers. Of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> of course he did. You, you command clout. When you're that tall, hmm. you Dude, are very powerful. I'm gonna try that, <clears throat> Brendan. <laughs> I'm gonna walk into a bar and say, "Who wants to sex Matumbo?" <laughs> People are gonna be confused. But <laughs> Brendan, imagine being nine feet tall and having to like crunch your whole body down just to enter a bar. There'd be women in the back, like, "Who's that?" <laughs> like, <they're> like, <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to sex Crick? <laughs> yeah. Just I mean, you're booming. They don't even. You're see right. His head. Women like tall men. So far, I feel like I could be nine feet tall and also not have any skin. <laughs> crunch myself what? down and walk into the I bar, about that. just bleeding everywhere, and they're like, who's that? <laughs> Who is that? Who's yeah. that? Who's that tall Who does he play water? for? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that would be incredible if, like, just if, like, a basketball team, you were just, like, a genetic, you're, like, an experiment, right? You mm-hmm. lose your nine feet tall, you lose your skin, your exposed tendons, and you get fucking scouted by, like, the Clippers or whatever. Like, well, just, there is mm-hmm. a guy like that. I feel like I've shown you this guy. His name is Robert Bobrovsky. He's, like, an Eastern European guy who's, like, seven, six, or oh, seven, seven. Yeah. But he's, like, so thin that he moves around like a fucking, like... He looks almost like CGI or yeah, something. Yeah, he's like he looks like like except like real effects, visual effects before CGI. Right, right. He, lo- he looks like the alien, like his head no, turns around he looks, slowly. He looks like a Guillermo del Toro movie. He looks like the fawn from Pan's Labyrinth, like his legs he's are so. Stilts. And then when he runs, he's just like, uh, uh. It's, it's he's bouncing up and down in like a very disconcerting way. <laughs> it's like and like any other anybody like the uh, everybody else's uncanny valley so is he's going on. Slender off. Man, Slender Man, basically. Yeah, but Slender Man, but like he, you can watch him move, and he moves at like. Everyone else is at sixty FPS and he's at like thirty FPS. Right, exactly. So, so <laughs> it's like it's like so everybody else is like like our our primal brains are like oh something's wrong like we recognize illness something like that. But basketball coaches are just like that's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean literally like they they were just like they've been trying to fix him for years. They're just like been feeding him like force feeding him pasta just to be like he can get to a normal weight. We can fix him. We can make him good at basketball. So I imagine doctors <laughs> trying to fix him and like a coach just bursting like, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop hurting my boy. <laughs> He's supposed to die. Let him die. <laughs> <laughs> There's a saying in basketball, which is you can't teach height. So like every every college in high school has one guy who's like six, seven or above who's just right. like miserably uncoordinated and shouldn't even be walking around. And they're just trying to teach him basketball, desperately being like, well, if we get him to even walk, he will be better than our six, one guy. That's interesting. I've always wondered. And will they really like. Do they just automatically get like are there kids who get scholarships based on the fact that they're fucking six six even if they're trash six six oh, that's is too going short right into my wage gap theory six six <laughs> is too short uh, you know what I mean like, like like yeah but yeah I mean you will you're they're called projects they're they're <laughs> pro, they're called so, project players this you, is so fucked up there was a guy at uh, Maryland where I went named uh, fucking uh, Demonte Dodd who they, was like seven feet tall and he looked like a basketball player but he was just miserably bad at everything and they spent four years just like playing him hoping he'd get better and he kind of did he he eventually sort of figured out how to do some of the basketball that's stuff so dark man that's just dark. Damn. She's like, please, coach, let me go home. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to study engineering. They're like, nope. <laughs> yeah, he wants, dude, he wants, he just wants to be like, he wants to study, major in philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to be the tallest philosopher. <laughs> and they're like, no, you, you have to fucking just stand near this hoop and be I would, big. I would love to see a giant poet. <laughs> like he just has a beautiful soul. <laughs> there is there is a man like that. His name is Eton Thomas, and he played for the Wizards for like two years and wasn't very good at basketball. But now he's a, a celebrated poet. What does anybody over seven feet have a regular fucking name? It's it's always Demonte and Eton and Detembe and all this shit. <laughs> where, are, where are the Georges and the Bills? Well, I mean, there is famously Sean Bradley, who was like a, a big seven foot six white Mormon basketball player. Holy shit! Yeah, he was very. Well, See the name. He can't is be having big Mormons. Yeah, the name is normal, and everything else is weird. <laughs> he has like so many kids who are all just very tall. Oh my god, you cannot. We got to put a stop to that. <laughs> the government should like step in before you create your own tall dynasty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't be making your own race of supermen. No, so, I mean they, they. Trust me, Sean Bradley is not a super. He's fam- most famous for getting dunked on a lot. How do you get dunked on when you're seven foot? You're seven just foot in the way. <laughs> he was like Ooh. seven foot six, and like very much more athletic men would just go into him. And, like, he occasionally he'd block the shot, but most of the time they'd just sort of, like, knock into him and he'd, like, go around like an inflatable tube man <laughs> in the way. <laughs> Fuck, man. <clears throat> I'm so glad that I have a normal body. You really do have... You have the most normal body. Yeah. Thank of this you. room. That's I mean, why, that's why that's you're... A, that's a, that's yeah. a bad group. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm not... I, I don't have the classic, like, V, like, torso. Well, but. that's not normal either. That's, like, extraordinary. You, the reason you get hospital jail is because you are extremely normal. Okay, well, this started out as a compliment, and now I don't like it too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm extraordinary. You're the perfect blank slate for medicine. Uh, so just like, you know ah, <laughs> ah, a standard frame. I guess I do like that. Because the other thing is, I don't take, I don't really take particularly good care of, like, I don't really no, focus don't. on being healthy. I do a lot of drugs, and my body just kind of, like, evens out to, like, the standard. Yeah, you're, you're very, you're a default white man. And it feels good. It Can I tell good. you? It feels great. You're, you, you are, you are the average white man that people on Twitter are so mad about. Yeah. <laughs> I get why they're mad. It's a good deal. <laughs> That's, it's mm-hmm. pretty good. It's you look a great happy. Deal. Oh, I'm happy you all the time. You look tan. 
Yeah, that might. I will say my tan is extraordinary. Your tan is. Uh, is it almost moves you into minority status. I think that I got booked on a show for the thirtieth. I think that I might have been booked on false pretenses. Although I think that Joe Felix knows me. Anyway, it's nice. It's in my neighborhood. It's at this like place in Boyle Heights that's like been there forever. The guy who owns it is like a respected like member of like the music community. Um, and this guy hit me up to be on it. And then I looked at the lineup, and it's it's literally all Mexican comics and me. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, do I say? Ah, I'm not gonna say Nick anything. Diaz. <laughs> Nick Diaz. Here we go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! But I, but which, when I also remembered that uh, when I first met the guy who booked me, he was like, he's like, yeah, man, he's like, I've been doing this amazing thing where we've been putting on stand up shows that are completely in Spanish, like just like totally like, uh oh, and and now I'm just like, oh boy, I really, <laughs> that, I really hope that I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> You're trying to, I'm imagining you just like frantically trying to figure out what the Spanish word for circumcision is <laughs> to your act. I'm on Google Translate the whole time. Yeah, no touch it, no molest our El Penis. El Penis <laughs> circumcisio. <laughs> Senor Epstein. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll talk about Epstein. Mm-hmm. I feel like they'd get real into that. Yeah. Do Mex- Are Mexicans for or against Jeffrey Epstein? You know, I think that once you tell them about it, they're going to have a lot of strong feelings. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah. Like, I don't know how aware they are. I mean, we know that Daniel and Julian are obviously up and up on that. But Yeah, yeah. I got to get it out to the to the members of the community in Boyle Heights. For sure. No, They'll I, be so you upset. Should, you should fly her. You should just fly her photos of Jeffrey Epstein that just are like, bad man in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Mal hombre. <Yeah. laughs> Actually, that'll be such a roller coaster for them to find, like, as I explain to them who Jeffrey Epstein is, and then I'll be like, yeah, and he just died. And they'll be like, oh, my God, that's good. I'm like, no, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. <here's>, <laughs> no. <laughs> here's the other twist. <laughs> here's the thing. We all needed to de- band together to defend this pedophile's life. It is wild that, like, almost retro... I have to keep reminding myself that, like, Jeffrey Epstein... Because, like, it's so bad that he was killed that my brain is almost like, Jeffrey Epstein, and Malcolm X, MLK. All, <laughs> like, the, the three people who died under the same circumstances. Yeah. There's I mean, a, we don't know that Jeffrey Epstein is dead, but... Also, I thought, I thought <laughs> Tim had a funny take about it, where he was saying that, like, the only just way to keep... Uh, Epstein in prison would be like a citizen's militia of volunteers jails him. No, it's true. <laughs> that, that makes a lot of sense. Private Robbie, the the first, I think the first take that Isaac and Robbie agreed on was that Epstein should have been held in a private prison. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. There's there's a guy at my job who's like listens to Joe Rogan and stuff, and he, the other day he's like, yeah, I'm really into conspiracy theories. He's like, oh yeah, like Epstein. He's like, what? And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, this, but that's when somebody doesn't know who, at, like, then I'm just like, well, what conspiracy theories are you into? Are you into space is fake? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what it is. It's just like flat earth shit well, or I mean, whatever. Epstein is just like on, it's just the news now. It's yeah, not it's even, not even really a fucking conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. It's like, guys, the pieces are here. That's why it's so dangerous that, like, uh, like all these websites and stuff, like YouTube and Facebook, they're like, we're trying to cut down on conspiracy theories. It's like... Yeah, but they're real. They're <laughs> so we sure real. So we need to we need them to show up in the searches. I just wish people were less impressionable. It would solve all our problems if like you could let people post whatever on YouTube, but people would take like a fucking second before they're just like, This man is right. Which is uh, like how everyone gets their opinions, it seems like. It's well it's but it's like it's the people are to blame, but it's also like the I it's hard, right? Because it it it's it falls somewhat on the people consuming it and also somewhat on the media. Sure. Because me, like, there's no, there's no objective, there's no way to just consume objective information anymore, especially not through YouTube. No, I don't know. But you also like, it's this is where it's weird because like I don't want to restrict anybody's rights, especially like a platform like YouTube, which, like in theory, if if just anybody can put content up, and there's no, although there are restrictions on. But it. if if you're spreading like I don't know, it's it's. You, you, there's no one to be the arbiter of what a harmful lie is. Like, people are spreading harmful lies on YouTube all the time. The problem is that you, who do you trust to step in and be like, well, this lie is harmful. Exactly. And this lie is fine. Right, exactly. Like, that's that's fucked. Yeah. I think really what the, the whole thing is, is fucked. There's, uh, uh, when you say the whole thing, you mean the world and everything happening right now, right? Because Probably, we're, yeah. Because we're, we're, we're reaching this, like, event horizon. We're just, like, everything. I was having this conversation with my grandfather while I was back. I might have said this on the podcast already. but we Whoa, were just, whoa. No, 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 no. This is the <laughs> liberal one. Oh, the good one. <laughs> 
There are two good ones. This is the one that what was. <laughs> I love Nick's dark grandpa and <laughs> virtuous grandpa. I literally have a Qui-Gon and an Obi-Wan, and then I've got fucking Darth Vader over here. <laughs> um, we who, gotta get who, who I, who, on the Much cast, like dude. Darth Vader, I do still empathize with and, and conflicted. I'm like conflicted about. Mm-hmm. But so I was talking. So this is the one that Wowo's ex-wife remarried, and he used to work at the NSA, meaning that like he actually knows a bunch of shit that he's not letting out, like through just sheer like self control, and he very solemnly said, like we were talking about climate change, and my grandmother was getting worked up, and he goes, "No, well, you know what the interesting thing about all the problems in the world right now is? There's absolutely no solution to them." <laughs> 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 he goes, "He goes, nobody's gonna figure it out," and then he got really quiet, and I was like, "Fucking shit, granddad." I think, I mean, here's here's a take I, I think is true that Nick will 100% agree with, is that we should just get rid of the internet. We should go back to a pre-internet time. It's true, like, because <clears throat> I'm like a, I do want, as much as I'm wary of China and how much they're controlling people with facial recognition and social credit and all that, I do think Daddy Mao should take the internet away. I do, <laughs> not, not Daddy Mao, Daddy Ping. What is but it? Do, I, do you I remember think the, the Mao internet 10 the years ago? What? It was great. Remember the internet ten years? Remember Arab Spring when everyone's like, "Wow, the internet is making it." So yeah, but the internet revolution. was bad yeah. then too. Well, it was bad, but le- the thing is, less. It was still like a fringe thing. People were like, but "The internet. What are you doing on the internet?" Right? Like the internet. Yeah. That's what. What are you? You know what I mean? Now like, everyone's on the internet. Like so, and it's really what. What it really was was social media. Mm-hmm. I think social media was the turning point of the internet, like crossing into just total retardation. Yeah, social media is terrible. Remember, you used to type in websites that you knew. <laughs> I, I still do that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, the internet was the best when, like, you didn't have it. Social media and smartphones, I know, we sound like fucking old men. But it's actually, like, a catastrophic thing that has happened to us. Like, the even the internet wasn't that bad when you still had to be in your home to use it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true, for sure. That was peak internet. That's Having to go to a That's it. We Going gotta get home rid of and logging on. Yeah, Man, I, yeah my, but, the, like, I want to so badly, but it... you. Genuinely needed oh, to like operate as a comedian. For, no, for, for comedian sure. job, anything. It's all like, like, dude. Even Slack, like, even the, the the shitty like minimum wage job that I work mandates that I have a Slack and an app on my smartphone so that I can like schedule myself and communicate with my team members. This is not a fucking like office job. This yeah, is a, you know what I love about my job is that I've they've suggested I download like the email app and the Slack app, but they've never forced it, and I've never once thought about work outside of work. I work eight to five. I don't bring anything home with me. I never have to think about beautiful. anything. Beautiful. It's nice. My, be- my best friend in the world, uh, Dan Puma, uh, is uh, he's on no social media. He's impossible to find. We used to make fun of him in college. He was right all along. He figured it out way before yeah. anybody else. Mm-hmm. I, th- I really think I want to delete my Facebook, but it is the only way to keep in touch with relatives. It is. And also, like as a comedian, it is necessary on some level to have a Facebook. I'm not even doing that anymore. Yeah, People well, hit me up on Instagram. That's, that's how I got booked for this last one. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it is mostly Instagram. And for a while, I was not doing Instagram. I still basically don't do Instagram. Mm-hmm. Well, I I I was upset because like I didn't I have Instagram, but for, and I don't have the Facebook app on my phone, and somehow it's gotten like I can't log in in the browser. Facebook won't. It'll, Facebook wants me in order to verify that it's a genuine device. It wants me to like ask various people in my friends list to verify that it's me. How I don't know. Why? Which I'm not going to do. Um, so I didn't have that, and then I didn't have Instagram on my phone, and it was like something I would check once a day when I was in my house, and then I almost missed out on like a spot because they were just Insta- they were DMing me on Instagram day of. So I'm like, fuck, I guess I need to have that on my phone all the time. You have to have it. Yeah. It's just fucked right now. I mean, especially for somebody, uh, for people, if you're in entertainment, a big part of it is obviously, like, s- networking and your social group. So, you, yeah, you have to be online. Like, what does Dan Puma do? He's married, right? Uh, oh, he's, he's, about, not... he's about to get married. Okay, he's about to get married. Right. Sorry. Um, like, what does he need? He doesn't need social media. He's got his Well, it's funny because he works for, like, a tech startup. So, he does work in, like, the tech industry. He just is not on... I guess he's probably on LinkedIn, if I had to guess. Right. But I, I heard a story on NPR about how LinkedIn's, like, the only remaining good social network where everyone's just polite to each other. I keep getting requests for... Like, I have... I made a LinkedIn, never logged into it, and, like, every week I get, like, 60 requests for people asking to add me, asking yeah. me to add them. I'm like, I don't even have, I have a picture up there. Also, I think Andrew Unger still sends me LinkedIn notifications. <laughs> what? I have no idea. <laughs> I remember for a while, every week, I would get an invitation from Andrew Unger to fucking play Candy Crush. And I was like, is this what I have to fucking do to get booked at Magoobies? I have to <laughs> play Andrew in a fucking to, mobile I have, game? I have to pretend his son's band is good. <laughs> <laughs> 
man, you're canceled, Isaac. I'm fucking. I'm never like, gonna play small, movies again. Small market comedy booker seems like a rough life. He was a weird guy. <laughs> I'll never. I'll, I I think there was. I was doing one show there where they almost had me host the comedy competition, so they had me come back to the room. And I think who was the comedian? It might have been Nikki Fuchs or uh, some female comedian. And he was like, <laughs> "Where's such and such?" And somebody said, "She's in the bathroom." And he goes, "She going number one or number two? And we were all just like, "What?" Do you think that's funny? Like, that's fucking weird. The room just like, nobody laughed. It was just silent. And then he like <laughs> chuckled to himself, holding his fucking Xbox 360 controller at his desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Damn. I probably shouldn't be putting it. Ah, what do I give a shit? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> we can talk about Dave Schofer at least. Yeah, yeah we can talk oh, about yeah. Dave Schofer. Dave Schofer. <laughs> the saddest man in the world. He said I, my... I, check, I checked in on his um, a little while ago. I was like, what's Dave Schofer up to? I looked up his Twitter and he was just tweeting. He's like, I have been clean from opiates for this many days. Was he doing fucking opiates? <laughs> he was ah, doing pills sense. and shit. Holy shit. Also, he had a girlfriend who like wasn't bad looking. Huh. I remember that shocked me, but he might have also just paid a whore to take pictures with him. <laughs> 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 Very plausible, using probably his parents' money. He, yeah. he sent my ex photos of his unerect penis, which was, by the way, extremely unimpressive. Oh, I think it was erect. Was it erect? Yeah, I think <laughs> that's why it was so unimpressive because he put his thumb next to it. It's like the duck rabbit thing. It's like, is it hard? Is I, it, not? It, it, it was is really this penis the, a young lady or an old woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was really the best way of hedging your bets with a dick pic because he sent it to her and he just said, "Is this bad?" That was the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning. He knows. He knew. He, <laughs> he knew. has an idea. <laughs> what was he asking? Like, is the the picture good or bad? No, is, is the, the act penis of sending bad? it? <laughs> I like him. He's asking about now. Is me sending you this unsolicited photo of my horrible cock good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> would would should I do this again? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my response to that would be like, it's bad, but absolutely do it again. I want want weekly dick updates from you, Dave Schofer. Please take take photos of it next to like various fruits and just like things for scale. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, no, because it was uh, like he put his thumb next to it, which was a terrible idea. Why? Bad idea. Your thumb isn't impressive in any situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost just highlighting how fucking small it is. (laughs) Look, it's almost as big as my thumb. The the ideal thing that he should have done, he should have taken that dick pic just like against a. like a white piece of paper or like a green screen. Just something that you can't... <laughs> there's no totally devoid of, of context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Buy one of those light boxes for like when you're selling small objects on eBay. <laughs> Honestly, though, it wouldn't have mattered. Even if you like put a, like a fucking green screen of just like space next to it and made it like the size of Saturn, it looks like an acorn. <laughs> it's, it's, there's no way to make that dick look it's, good. It's a bad uh, head to shaft ratio. Yeah, exactly. It's just like... It's, a, it's one of those penises that's all head. You can't be all yeah, head. Yes, yes, you should not be all head. It's like a, it's like someone poured you a bad beer. <laughs> it's it's just all head. <laughs> he didn't tilt the glass. Yeah. yeah, you gotta tilt the damn glass. Oh fuck, man. Yeah, <laughs> have, have you guys ever? Uh, the answer for me is yes, but it was it was with a girlfriend consensually, like while I was on have vacation. Have I sent a picture? Have you of ever a dick? sent a dick pic? I've never unsolicited. Oh yeah, way dick. too many. I've sent oh, no. like way too many to like two or three women who had like requested them for sure, but. It's like, sometimes I think about it, I'm like, I don't even have any of the photos of my dick. The only people who do all hate me. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's always that thing where, like, when you break up with a girl, she's like, and you better delete all my nudes off of your... Fo-. Well, I literally had a thing mm-hmm. with a girl where I deleted all of her nudes after we had broken up for a time, and I was like, yeah, of course, I'm not going to keep those. That's fucked up. And then, like, weeks later, she sent me a picture of my own penis, and I was like, I miss you. And I was like, this was not the fucking agreement. <laughs> <laughs> it was unspoken that you would also do the same. What the fuck is this shit? Of your own penis? <laughs> yeah. She sent me a dick pic that I had sent her. If she wanted to actually you hate to see your own dick on <laughs> <laughs> what she had said was, I miss this. I should clarify. She's like, I miss this. And I, I was miss like, us. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> yeah. I, I I fucking I'm a I'm an honorable man. My my ex I fucking logged into iCloud on like my computer to delete the nudes that had like synced to the cloud. Oh my god. Oh shit, I gotta do that. <laughs> For sure I gotta do that. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a dark day. <laughs> no, it's because probably you ran out of space three years ago. So Yeah, it, I no, you know exactly. Here's what happened. My old phone, there was a glitch with the old iPhone 5 where um, 
something happened where like if you rebooted this or if you would delete mm-hmm. pictures, they wouldn't actually permanently delete. It yeah, be- I saw that because like, you had my old phone, so I had that happen to me too. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so uh, so they would pictures would be taking up space in your phone. I couldn't figure out where the space was going. So what you had to do is you had to set your phone back to a prior date or like to the factory date, and then you could actually <laughs> access everything that had been in your phone up to that hadn't actually been deleted, and it was just like. Like three generations of like girlfriend nudes where I was like, oh man, I miss her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I can, that's the I, thing is like I always delete them because I'm like, like you don't you don't want to see them anymore because you're like, oh that makes me upset. But then like if I saw it again, like not of anyone specific, just like any of the nudes I've ever gotten, it would probably be like a weird like wistful jerk. Yeah, yeah, that's no good. Yeah, not for me. The old I, I can say I don't want to see any of the nudes of my exes. <laughs> <laughs> they, I, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Even then, I you're like, like oh, um, nice. This is a, uh, this is a good treat for me. Th- one, of them, one of them, <laughs> one of them could send me a nude right now, and I'd just be like, ah, come on, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Put that away. I love that. Well, were you about to say something about sending dick pics earlier? Yeah, yeah. I've I've only sent uh, requested dick pics, for sure. and I've I've only done that with like a few women, and I've been pretty good with Snapchat, of uh, Snapchatting and not like actually taking the photo. Mm-hmm. I, you sna- I've never even Snapchatted my dick. Yeah, you Snapchat it because it will tell you if they take a no, photo I, of, of course, it. Of yeah, course, yeah. But uh, I know about that. Then what does that mean? Then all that means is you know that they screen capped it. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> you have no <laughs> recourse. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to know? <laughs> At least I'll know if they kept it. Can't be like, hey, give that back. <laughs> 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 no, we know it's fine. I've never. I've sent. Well, I've sent pictures of my dick. I've never sent a picture of just my dick. Because I'm because I. What else did you send? Well, what I would do. <laughs> you, you somehow have your dick in your ass in the photo at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I've done. I've done one of those fucked up like yeah, photo. panoramic <laughs> photos. Yeah, it's just it's, what, it's an MC Escher like staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but uh, what I do is I, I I do um, fuck. What's that um? What's that painting called? I I send my dick and it says in French, "This is not a dick." <laughs> 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 what is the pipe? What's the, you know? What I, I mean. don't know. Or what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I. Uh, well, no. But what I used to do because I sending just your penis to me. I look at it because I don't even like taking selfies. Like any picture I take of myself, I'll delete a day later because I'm like, Bleh. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, and I'm not the same way with my dick pics. I just like overanalyze them. I'm just like it could be the lighting isn't good. Um. But when I was working out a lot. I would send nudes. I would like get hard in front of a mirror, and then I was like, and then I would just take a full body image of me like with an erection, also flexing a little bit. Just of course, like, just like. Well, I, look, I never think my dick looks good, but like uh, girls would request, and I'd just be like, "Fuck!" If this is what you want, I right. just I wouldn't really dress it up at all. Mm-hmm. I'd just be like, "I guess this is what you're looking for." You're, for you're like a reason... line cook who's like, "You want ketchup on the steak?" All right, <laughs> yeah, all right fine. yeah. For some reason, people want to see it. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I, it's been a minute, though. You ever send a, um, a picture of your dick before you even met the girl? No. Yes, once. I was going to hook up with this girl from Tinder, and she's like, I, she sent me nudes. So I was like, ah, fine. And I sent her my dick, and she's like, great. And I was like, cool. And then I went over to this girl's house and just completely failed to fuck her twice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, was, I texted Nick uh, midway through because this is such a, she was an RA at a college. You so, called like, me. <laughs> So I called you. That's so right. You went like on campus to not. No, yeah, no. She it's was so like funny. literally. I, we failed to. I just couldn't get it in for like ten minutes, and uh-huh. like eventually this this because you have like a corkscrew, right? No, I have a regular penis. It's just <laughs> it just doesn't go in sometimes. Isaac has okay. a duck's penis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this girl, this God bless this girl. After like ten minutes of me failing to fuck her and just like making jokes the whole time, just being like, "Oh, what's going on?" Oh, you should not be making jokes. <laughs> You're already I was failing to fuck her, girl. You don't then make jokes. I was about trying it. to diffuse the situation inside. The Isaac, only way the situation I was fully diffused. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. okay. But anyway, she's just like she like rolled her eyes. She's just like, oh, "Do you want to like fuck my tits or something?" I was like. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How did like, she know? <laughs> and I did, and it was great. And then she's like, all right, I have to go on my rounds as an RA. And so she left, and I was just alone in her. She's like, oh, she also was like, don't steal anything. There are cameras. I'll know if you steal something. I'm like, you think I came over here to fuck your tits and then, like, steal your posters? Like, why would you? Also, where are the cameras? Yeah, apparently there are cameras in the, uh, hopefully not in her room, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Someday you, you make it as a comic, and footage <laughs> leaks of you just fucking some yeah, girl's tits. And, like, if, dude, if, if, you had to, if a girl had told me after I, after I failed, to fuck her and then I fucked her tits she's like by the way there are cameras and I'd be like 
Oh no! <laughs> Why <laughs> didn't you disclose that before? She meant outside, I think. But anyway, oh, so, so so she would see you like in a trench coat with like a big like painting <laughs> running out. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm right next to the fine art wing of the dorm. Uh, but anyway, I called Nick and I was just like, I don't know what's going. It wouldn't go in. He's like, What do you mean it wouldn't go? In? I like tried to explain it to him, and he just like he was just like, What? Did, were you hard? I was like, Yeah. He's like, It doesn't sound like you were hard. Was she wet? I'm like. Well, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I was. I was. She like, wasn't aroused. No, well, we tried Brandon, again. It, it, it's. It was like a brain teaser. I remember it so. Vividly. <laughs> I was like pacing in circles in the apartment <laughs> that I was in, just trying to fucking figure out what the possible like problem yeah, one of the those like, was. <laughs> like transparent whiteboards, like just glass. <laughs> yeah, I'm running the numbers. I'm fucking dividing things. Well, we, we tried. She came back it's and we tried again. Fucking the. It's us in like the meeting room in in Star Wars, where like we're all looking at like the Death Star hologram of her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we tried again. She came back. We tried again. It didn't work again. And I like I I don't remember what we did. And then at the end, she was just like, "Well, this is fun. We should do this again sometime." And I had to like restrain myself, from being like, "What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you invited me here for one purpose, and I totally fail at that. Pur- Why on earth would you want to do it again?" And then I came over like a week later and tried to fuck her and failed again. And then she was just like, we should just be friends. I was like, I think I have to be friends with you now. I was friends with her for like a year afterwards, just out of like duty, <laughs> solemn oh my duty. God. <laughs> Damn. But I, my dick works good now. I don't know mm-hmm. what happened. You ever like, um, you like the woman that you're with? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's it. Um, you ever, uh, like, a girl sends you nudes and you check, like, the metadata to see if she's taking them or if they're from, like, other times? No. What the f- Brendan, What kind of paranoid you, fucking shit? You are the most paranoid person that I know. That's How do you, you even do that? You wouldn't just be that? grateful to get the nudes? No, I was, but, like, I, rem- I, I remember this girl sending me nudes, and I'm like, did she change panties? Like, what is this? And then I'm, I'm looking, because, like, on the iPhone, it'll tell you, like, where... Right. It'll tell you like what neighborhood the photo was taken in. Oof. Sometimes. So I'm like, oh, that one was taken in Mantua and that was in North Philly. <laughs> I think that even on? I think that even if I saw that I'd be like, okay, these are old nudes. I don't think mm-hmm. I'd start doing detective work. Me, I'm a I'm a horny detective. Well, because I, every it's because anytime like <laughs> Mm. Every it's like, a woman? Well, where are the lies? Yeah, like, <laughs> anytime a woman interacts with you, you're like, okay, how is she betraying me right yeah. now? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, I'm working on it. Unfortunately, my therapist did fire me, so your Progress therapist has fired you. Oh yeah, no, Brendan's therapist is basically like, uh, you're done, which he is <laughs> no. absolutely not. Holy shit! <laughs> what, yeah. Was your therapist? Did your therapist pretend it was good you were done, or was just like, I cannot fix you? No, what it was is, um, <laughs> I have shitty health insurance where, um, one time, okay, so before I found my my. I almost said a current therapist, but no longer. I've been fired. Um, <laughs> but before I found him, I talked to a therapist where he's like, oh, I don't take your insurance. And I was like, oh, well, do you know a therapist who does? And he's like, well, no, your insurance, you can't go to any doctor but their doctors. And the thing about yours is that uh, they don't want you to continuously get therapy. They want you to do like six or 12 sessions, then you're done. So then after exactly 12 sessions, my therapist decided that I had made a lot of progress and I was ready to spread my wings. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. What a, what a, you take an oath as a doctor of any kind. So that man broke that oath that day. Oh, oh for, for sure. sure. Well, you take an oath to an extent. I mean, first do no harm. That's the oath. I cannot That's, say telling Brendan that he's healthy now is not doing harm. Come to think of it, it's crazy <laughs> how none of your therapists have taken the oath. Literally, absolutely none of your therapists. From now on, I'm going to make them all do the oath in front of me, like a Boy Scout. (laughs) I promise not to stop seeing Brennan until he is better, Mm -hmm. and they don't realize what what they've done. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm allowed to. uh, If things get very bad, I'm allowed to call him, and we can set up more sessions. But my insurance will get mad. (sighs) Just who gives a shit of your insurance? What are they going to do if they get mad? Like you got to take the system for everything it's worth. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it happened at a time where like I. Like, I was running out of things to talk about just because, like... Bre- Brennan had been booked is, on one me, show, and then he was just something. like, I'm f- I'm good now. <laughs> Are you running out of things to talk about in therapy or in... Also, by the way, Tom and I have this hilarious theory about you and your therapist. I like, don't like all these theories about me. Brennan, <laughs> Brennan, it's impossible. Have you ever... Like, I would love to show you a video of yourself, and you'd be like, yeah, I'd cook up some theories if I met me. <laughs> it's so hard not to cook up theories, but Tom was like... Next time Brendan goes to therapy, we have to go with him. It's like when your mom has to talk to the doctor with you so that, so that, you, don't just, so that you don't just tell him that everything's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, I know. I am. Though I think I think I'm pretty good at um. I don't know. It's tough. Lying because, to therapists. Well, my <laughs> problem is you I want to because you want the validation of the things are going. Well. I get yeah. it. It's like a common problem. Yeah. It's not so much that as like I never know. Like, is there a level of honest where I can be where they just like send me away? Because I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, good I question. Mean, if, if you say you're going to harm others, that's where the line is. You're harm other any kind of harm Which to that, yourself or others. That I kind of goofed up on because remember, um, I, what remember did you my, do? <laughs> well, remember my previous therapist was all into like violent fantasies Brandon, as therapy. Stop using the word therapist. A man. <laughs> <laughs> just did experiments on you for a fee that you paid yeah. him to trick like well you know that's what i thought therapy was so that i'm with this new guy and i'm i'm like oh man i'd like to do this to that person and he's like what what now <laughs> i'm like uh, no are, are this... i supposed to share i wouldn't do it but it's you know you're supposed to express it and he's like if that is what you want to do i i guess we can do that oh <laughs> like, my god <laughs> yeah is not... this is this not primal scream <laughs> therapy <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what I was in. Why he had me jumping on the couch and shit and screaming. <laughs> Who like, was this man? Did you ever see, did he have like uh, any kind of degree? I this, this old, the crazy therapist. Was there anything in his house denoting any kind of like certification? You know, I think there was. He was a therapist from Craigslist. <laughs> just, <the laughs> he, guy, just some guy from the internet. He, I think that he, actually he, was what happened. That is true, yeah. He was from Craigslist? He Not from got Craigslist. a Craigslist therapist. No, there's, um, I was, it, it was from a website called Psychology Today. <laughs> and um, owned and operated by that man. <laughs> yeah. It's a psychology today. And I scrolled down and I looked at the headshots and I picked the one who looked most like a therapist. So you picked a Jew. I, I picked a Jew, yes. <laughs> so I went to this old Jew's house at the top of a tower. And this he, is just, uh, this story never gets old. And he opened up my brain, he poked around, and he, you know. There was a wolf involved. <laughs> I, I am so this positive. Is, isn't this just the plot to A Clockwork Orange? Basically, totally an is. old Jew fixes a, a violent man. I, 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 <laughs> no, he because I wasn't violent. He asked me to become violent. Ah, right. It's okay. kind of it's reverse, reverse Clockwork, clockwork orange. orange. It's reverse Clockwork Orange. I know that I've, I feel like I've said this before, but I so badly want to know what your Soviet activation words are. Like, I just want to <laughs> start trying out different combinations. See what makes you stand up like the Manchurian candidate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stand up and just slap the nearest woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should probably um I don't know, like things haven't things haven't been that bad recently. Like if some if things get real bad, I'll I'll call and I'll set up more sessions. But what if I do that and then I go in and then I'm like, I didn't have anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brendan, you it's have... It's like when you go to an open mic and the guy's just like, oh, fuck, I don't know what I was planning on doing up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get into there, you're like, what did I want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, what, what else happened today? <laughs> you start playing a song on your phone and like doing like weird bits with it. Yeah, and yeah. Like, what the fuck? I start alting out. Alt therapy. Brendan, what do you mean you have nothing to talk about? You're so weird. Yeah, I'm weird, but I mean, for the most part, recently I've been kind of happy. Hmm. Huh. Well, that doesn't mean there are no problems. <laughs> I'm getting very fat. But I think, honestly, I think, I mean, get, weight gain is a, theor- is a thing of Zoloft. That's a side effect of Zoloft. So that means that um, if girls don't fuck me while I'm this fat, they're being ableist. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. sure. Hold, that holds water. Why not? Yeah, sure. Body positivity. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think that women give a fuck about being ableist. I think that, I think that hot girls are openly ableist. They're very able. They're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they love being able. I'm, 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 uh, this is a comedy podcast. I was goofing. <laughs> this is a comedy. This, we're, we're, let we're, us reiterate: this is a comedy podcast and not a weekly manifesto. <laughs> no, <laughs> wink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it'd be very funny if you you did get like a guest who just had no idea what the podcast was. You should really get like just some random LA comedian who like was like we have three hundred followers. Mm-hmm. You should come on and it's good exposure. And they come on and they have and you just do the normal podcast and they're just like what? <laughs> huh? I feel like if we got, I feel like even some of the friends in the open mic scene, like if they, because I think they're aware that you have a podcast, but I feel like the minute they got on, they'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> did you just? What did you say about black people? I I am black. <laughs> It'd be like Alice Hamilton. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we could have her on. Yeah, Al, I take Alice. I know, who's that? Who's that uh, schizophrenic girl that we met in front of the VFW? What was her name? Do you uh, remember her? Uh, she was doing. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I don't want to say her name. On she mic. was a blast. I would have her on in a heartbeat. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Well, one I saw just like like an. Um, 
I saw a guy that I, I know from open mics like I've had a couple conversations with just like comment on one of the promo like posts like just started listening it's great I'm like oh no the bag's starting to leak <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah the ba- Brendan the bag is fully leaked mm-hmm. okay, I, oh I, well I mean what's gonna happen I mean, I said some stuff on the first podcast about comedians that I probably shouldn't have said because I was like who's gonna hear this what did you say I don't remember. I was just shit talking like random LA comedians. I think. Yeah. People who w- went places or open micers. Open micers. Okay. Sure. Who cares? Well, they're, they're the ones I'm most likely to see. I'm not likely to see people who went places. Yeah, yeah. D- isn't the pretense of open mics you all don't really like each other anyway? You're all just like no there with each other. No, I like I like some. People. <laughs> not the people that you fucking. Not the people that you're shit talking. Oh yeah. So okay, nothing changes. <laughs> <laughs> no, th- yeah, but th- some of them are just going to be like weirdos who are like want to beat me up or whatever. Oh yeah, oh, that would be sure. funny if you People got beat up for something you said on Coward Hour episode six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. I w- I wouldn't mind that. Do people get, are people <laughs> getting like, beat Isaac? What the fuck did you say about me? And you're like, can you, well, do you have the clip? I <laughs> yeah, I don't I do remember. Not remember what I said about you. Who are you? I never <laughs> remember what we talked about. Like by the time the episode's out. <laughs> yeah, I well that's like it, why when we schedule them a week in advance, people are like, "Oh, that was really funny when you said that." I'm like, I "That's don't why I, I like to listen to them before we write up the descriptions because, like, I don't remember what we talked about right after we're done. Like when we record that, when we write down the description for this one after we record, I'm gonna be like, I, fu- I don't know what did yeah, we said. I, I don't remember anything I said, but I think I did a good job. I you do remember a doing job. a good job. Yeah, yeah. No, well, what's weird We've is we had some laughs. Now that people are going back through the back catalog, I have people hitting me up on um, my Instagram like telling me bits that they think are funny, and I'm just like, oh, did we say that? Somebody sent me... Somebody... It's not even, like, just them typing it. I got sent an audio clip of a thing that I couldn't believe that I said. <laughs> I felt like I had been deep faked. I felt like I had been, like, Adobe deep faked or something. Someone just does a really good Nick Oldershaw impression. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there Jews? We should kill the Jews. <laughs> I mean, who came up with this thing? Jews? <laughs> 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 yeah, very flawed concept. <laughs> <laughs> Jews sounds good, doesn't work. <laughs> All right, let me get this straight. No, I should not. What, what, the thing I was yeah. about to say really shouldn't say what I was about to say. <laughs> we have a fucking parent company now. I can't be a fucking. I'm I'm Jewish. I'm here, and I approve. I'm the Eli I'm Valley ju- of this mm-hmm. podcast. I'm also Jewish. Yeah. I'm also a recently. We have uh, an autistic Jew on the mic. <laughs> I'm, I'm a recently unearthed Jew, but I just <laughs> unearthed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick Oldershaw is a secret Mexican Jew. <laughs> Jews from the grave. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I can't wait to just become like... I, I am the few... You know how when everybody starts fucking and intermingling and we're all, and they're like, yeah, we're all just going to start fucking each other and become beige. I'm the forerunner to that. I am the child of the world. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fucking cult leader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the child of the world, dude. Welcome to, the, welcome to my compound. <laughs> you, you'd be a pretty good cult leader, I think. Yeah, no shit. I think about <laughs> it all the time. I don't even know you can't why. Can't be telling him that, Isaac. I, he knows. He's not the only one who's told me. A lot of people tell me, and I'll, I don't even know. Like uh, lots of people, everyone, everyone I meet is like, "You'd be such a good cult leader. <laughs> you should lead a cult." <laughs> and I won't do it. I won't. That's how great of a guy I am. I won't do it, despite how well it would go. <laughs> I would run the best cult. It would be the sexiest cult. The most crime. People are saying <laughs> it's weird. Saying it's good. <laughs> truly, like when I when I l- what, listen to myself do comedy or like listen back to the podcast, I find myself annoying. But then I guess like people like me. Which is you're, you're genu- very likable, genuinely shocking to me. But I, I I'm aware that I'm likable because many people like me. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Maybe not in this moment. Yeah, <laughs> you're also one a, a good cult leader's quality that you have is you're very good at not getting pinned down into like the details of things. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're very good at painting broad strokes and then just sort of ev- evaporating when it comes time to hammer out. <laughs> what, right. what I didn't wor- say that. What, what are you worrying about that for? Uh-huh. It, yeah, actually, <laughs> well, you know what. <laughs> Frankly, I feel like that's a skill that I've honed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nick Nick is very likable. I am very neutral. I am like so good at just not leaving a positive or negative impression no, on people. No, you leave a positive impression. It takes some takes a while. I think yeah. I have very inconsistent results. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. <laughs> you, you are, you are good at agreement. pretending for a while, and then sometimes it slips out, and then you're like, then it's hard to undo the damage. <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were so mean to me last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with you. I was. I, I razzed you too but hard, and it was inappropriate. That's the thing, was though, it was razzing, or, what, or was it the mask slipping? It was not. I don't want to hurt people. 
I was just. I think you here's don't the thing. think about it. I think what it, I think I think what it was is that I I razzed Isaac how I would a friend who I didn't have this tension with that I'm kind of realizing tonight is uh, still greater than I expected. <laughs> this is Why are incredible. you putting this on me? This is, I, listen, this no, and that's my doing. fault. You know. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I didn't know that everyone knew I was playing both sides. <laughs> <laughs> everyone knew. <laughs> you, I thought you I are, played it off. You are an absolute worm of a man with no loyalties <laughs> to anybody except yourself. <laughs> That's at what times, I'm saying. It slips out occasionally. At times it is admirable, but mostly <laughs> it's funny. Um, no, I'm... At the very, I, listen to me. I I need more, I need more examples. I I I believe I have honor. Well, anytime anytime you're pressed upon, you'll fucking immediately shift to whichever side isn't putting the heat on you. Is that, that true? Yes, definitely. You will you'll go with the flow. You you'll always take the path of least resistance, which is fine. I, that's not what I'm here to say. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I don't mean We're not that. criticizing it. We're just noticing. We're it. just <laughs> noticing it. Look, dude, I'm not a fucking moral person. I mean, actually, uh-huh. I am pretty moral, but my morals are not. The moral standard. They're not conventional. They're morals. not conventional morals. Yeah. <laughs> I have unconventional <laughs> morals. <laughs> Look, I'm the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> but at the very least, when I hurt people, mm-hmm. it's because I aim to hurt them. You know what, Isaac? You're moving back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certainly not. No. When I you- decided I did you wrong. I'm 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 making it right. When, there is nowhere else I'd rather not live right. in this house. <laughs> <laughs> when you hurt people. It's it's a it's complete buffooner. It's you're you're absolutely obliv- oblivious to the fact that you've just been as hurtful as you were. That I think is true. Yes. Which which <laughs> is a that's a double edged sword because ob- you're not going out of your way to be mean, uh-huh. but you can be remarkably callous. I don't, yeah, I I never am like Brendan is maliciously being cruel. I don't right. think it comes uh-huh. from that that place. Right. Is this is this mean? This is probably mean. Well, no, I, just, I, I have this questions, but I don't know if I want to hear the answers on mic. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Um, sure, sure. <laughs> we've pulled, oh, man, this is this is a great podcast. I, so I don't know if you guys are happy with it, <laughs> but I'm over here just fucking like fingers tented, so pleased with everything. I am mostly about the one bad thing we've talked about with me is me living in a house full of ants, which I got off pretty easy, I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. The thing about you is, I have loyalty. <laughs> you do yes you do I mean, to we a could, point we could unpack this shit I don't want to <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna, I don't I, I, <laughs> I can we, feel, we wrap up the cast we can wrap up the cast talk about this. I mean this has been great though I've really <laughs> yes, enjoyed we, we going really here made, we've made a breakthrough Brendan <laughs> <laughs> we, we have done what your therapists have failed to do <laughs> god damn yeah it. you don't need therapy do you <laughs> I just you need boys. I need you my, just need your boys. I need my boys. All right. Well, uh, wait. Do we have anything oh, to plug? Yeah, plugs. Um, I'm at Roast Battle next next Tuesday. Oh, it's next Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn right. Oh, wow. Jokes, you got to fucking. Buddy. Prepare. I got to write these jokes. Uh, I'm at the West Side Comedy Theater Saturday eight uh, eight p.m. Uh, eight thirty one the thirty first of August. It's a great show. Uh, if for some reason you live in L.A. and you want to come see me, that'd be the place to do it. Um, August 30th, I may or may not have infiltrated a Latinx comedy show. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the location. Just follow me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll tweet it. That's why I own these streets. Straight up portfolio showing growth. Fuck a pay cut. Yeah, you know I stay slut. Catch me in the spot. Moving up for the self suck. Oh fuck, I busted already. I'm coming bucket so heavy. Bucket my dream so of cream heavy. coming steady. Now my mouth open, I'm ready. I'm talking solo heavy petting on a Friday, Friday night. night. Not talking bashing the bishop, more like Nantucket's delight. I'm Nantucket. taking all the time I need to do it.